welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. But what I do know is that this particularly gorgeous look has been achieved with a palette from a UK indie brand. The UK indie brand that I have followed and purchased from for the longest of times. And that is Oh My Glitter OMG. And this is the palette that was in their Halloween mystery box. However, she did have a few left over that she's popped up on the website. So, once you've watched this film and seen what the inside looks like and how the shadows performed, if you really like it, you're going to have to be quick before they all sell out. Because I can't guarantee Ghosty Boy will come back. So grab a drink, grab a snack, check your front door's locked, and enjoy. Hey lovelies, welcome back from the intro. It is stupid o'clock again. Can't sleep. What do I do when I can't sleep? I either surf the internet and buy things that I can't afford, don't want, and usually end up giving away, or <laughs> a palette that arrives and pleases me for a short while and then doesn't, or I play with makeup I already have. Today, I'm playing with makeup I already have. Right, I will have shown you this in the intro. This was out of the Oh My Glitter Halloween mystery box that I got. Um, there was loads of bits and pieces in the box. There was a, a hex bomb for the bath, there were skeleton hand hair grips. I feel like I'm on the generation game with the conveyor belt trying to remember what was in my box. That sounds rude. Um, coloured contact lenses. Uh, oh, popping orange flavoured candy chocolate. That was very nice. That that didn't last long. Me and hubby soon demolished that. Uh, there were pigments. There were glitters. Um, discount code for violet moth. Uh, I'm sure there's other things that I'm forgetting. But this for me. Oh, was the star. I mean, how cute. Oh yeah, we got a little sticker with the little ghost on, which I might put up there somewhere. Or I might just put the paper cover up instead, like I did with my slash. <laughs> so, enough teasing. You want to see what's on the inside. This is the first Oh My Glitter palette that I've had. That has mats in it, so I'm going to play with a new formula of hers, and I cannot wait. <laughs> so, I am going to go through my usual spiel, even though I want to shut up and put this on my face right now. So, I'm a teaching channel uh, that, combined with my chronic pain, means. I probably go a lot slower than most tutorials you will watch. That being the case, if I'm going too slow for you, there is a speed widget out there somewhere. Feel free to use it. Face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed and I'm going to zoom you in and talk about eye shapes. Regular viewers will know what I'm going to say. You can fast forward until you see me wave a brush at you. Not a wand as I repeatedly called it in a previous video. With colour on it. So, let's get you zoomed in. Um, as always, I've got the Chrome Pebble Eye Primer on in cotton, which is the white one. 
discount code listed below I don't earn from it but this is by far the best primer I have ever used on my eyes full stop I haven't touched my um, MAC soft ochre since I got that I got it initially because I wanted to I bought some of their pastel pigments so I wanted a white base so that the pastel showed up as, as, as powerfully as possible and then I fell in love with the base because it's not sticky it goes on dry so you can blend on it immediately without having to set it with anything else so you get full colour impact it's bloody brilliant uh, they've got six shades white is the lightest the two deepest ones are a chocolate brown and a black and then there's three skin tone shades in the middle so um, if she hasn't got a shade that suits you then drop her a message and I'm sure she'll do the best she can to fit you in but obviously she is an indie company so she doesn't have a huge amount of resources available to her like other big companies do but you know me I like supporting my indie brands so I've got deep set eyes and a lot of people with deep set eyes I see so many people say oh I've got hooded eyes I've got hooded eyes and then I watch them and I think mm -mm, you've got deep set eyes I understand the confusion it's because we both have the same issues we get color transference onto the upper lid if we're cutting our crease we can't just cut the socket we have to cut onto the upper lid and even when using glitter glue glitter you get a bare patch right through here I'm going to explain to you how to work out whether you have hooded eyes or whether you have deep set eyes and then I'm going to talk you through exactly how you can work around this and follow any tutorial that you see on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. Now, when I relax my brows and look straight forward you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. Admittedly, you can't see much of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if your upper lid completely covers right down to your lash line, part or all of that mobile lid, that you have what's known as a full or a half hooded lid or a mono or an Asian eye. So, the workarounds. If you have a hooded lid, get a brush something like this or a pencil brush and sketch out on your static lid where you need your new crease to fall. Now obviously that will reduce the space between the crease and the brow so use slightly smaller blending brushes and if necessary go right up to the brow rather than leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself what we have to do when we're blending a colour through the crease is every so often sit relax our brows and just make sure that we've brought the colour up high enough that we can see it when our eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different eye shapes, but eye shapes that are often mistaken for each other. Right, I'm going to shut up now and put some colour on. Um, I'm using some of the, the brushes from one of the brush sets I recommend from AliExpress. This is Tapered Blending Brush number 6. And I'm going to go into Succubus. Love, 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 love that. Hang on. Why have we got a Succubus and not an Incubus? How come the boys get all the fun? Or the lesbians. Succubus is the female demon. And Incubus is the, the male. That seduces you with sex. And other things. <laughs> right. For those of you fast forwarding, hello! This is very similar, this slightly deeper version of Anastasia's Born Fresco, which is my favourite shade out of modern renaissance. And to be honest, I think it's probably the only reason I haven't, wow, got rid of my modern renaissance palette yet. Wow, hello. Hello pigment, where did you come from? Wow. Right, um, sorry, that, that was genuine surprise I was not expecting it to go on quite that powerfully Ooh. right as you can see I'm using circular movements going in this direction towards the nose and then a bit of a bounce in the middle 
then reverse it and come back out. If you like, this is the equivalent of a Viennese waltz. Natural turns, reverse turns, and a bit of a fleckle in the middle. Wow, I am loving this already. Ooh. I've resisted, I haven't even swatched this palette yet because I just... I wanted you to get my honest and genuine... Well, you always get my honest opinion, I'm shit at lying. Um, but I wanted you to see my my genuine first impression of using the Oh My Glitter matte pigments. Wow, okay. These aren't very dusty. There's a little bit of kick up in pan. Um, far less than Anastasia's. Um, and like I always say, it's never an issue because you can just pick more pigment up when you go in to do your other eye, which is what I've done here. I'm holding the brush right at the end so I put as little pressure as possible on my eyes. And I'm just checking that they look the same shape and the same depth of colour. Because obviously, unless you photoshop the result like a certain James Charles, your eyes are not symmetrical. And sometimes you have to do slightly different shapes, both sides, in order for them to look the same when your eyes are open. Right, I've got a clean washcloth here that I'm using to just clean the brush off with. I much prefer that to using a, a colour switch. It's, it's far more gentle on your brushes, especially if you're using natural hair. These aren't, these are synthetic, but... Right, now I'm going to go into Spellbook. Because you know me and my purples. If there's purples or greens in a palette, I'm going to use them because they're the most difficult colours to create. And this is just a slightly deeper, cooler version of that first shade. And I'm going to buff and blend together. Get a nice seamless gradient between the two. Mm, I like this. This is Spellbook, what I've gone into for this second colour. You can see there it's definitely more of a cool toned um, purple. There's far more blue in this one than there was in the first. Blending those two together. Hmm. Clean the brush off. I was watching the Jeffree Star Shane episode where Morgan was getting forced into completing a brand deal where she'd been made to feel awful when she went away with the brand. And that moment when Jeffrey said, who is the brand? Send it to me, I'll deal with it. And I'm just like, love that man. Love that man to bits. You know, at the time he was dealing with the fact that the concealer had been stolen and had been leaked. The pictures of it had been leaked before he had managed to do his launch of it and yet he was still, Morgan's got a problem? Nah, I'm not going to have someone taken advantage of like that. Tell me the brand and I'll deal with it. Now that is a good friend and that's a preview for the next colour I'm going in with. This is Haunted. Oh look at that. Ooh. And I'm going to run this just through the crease 
and flare it out on this outer edge here. Wow. Okay. Robin, you've outdone yourself, girly. This is one of the best purples I've ever used. And this is the most difficult shade of purple to do. And that's just... Wow. Oof. Just look at that. That's like... Because I struggle here and here with dry patches. Normally I cannot get pigment to stay put here at all. And yet that's just... Oof. Problem is, when I do my makeup at a stupid o'clock like this, I take my photographs and I do my filming and stuff. And I think, I really want to go out and show off this makeup. But everybody's in bed and nowhere's open. And it's a Tuesday night at stupid o'clock and most people have got work tomorrow. Most people are sensibly sleeping at this time. Apart from the insomniacs and the pain somniacs, fellow pain sufferers of the world, trust me when I say I empathise. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit this side, but I think that is more to do with the dry patch on my eye just there rather than the pigment because if I just pat the pigment on to build it up it's going all fine so yeah it's just the skin on my eye there giving me trouble that's stunning Right, I'm going to go into Monster, which is this gorgeous sort of burgundy. I'm going to buff this into the outer corner here. Oh, it's like a blood burgundy red. I like. Hello. And just gently blend that just up the outside edge into the purple. I really sort of smoke the colour out a little bit. Oh, this is brush number seven, the blending brush, by the way. It's still round, but it's more compact. Whatever size the head of the brush is, that's pretty much how big it will blend colour out to. That's really lovely. These are so buttery soft to use. I wish you could feel the quality of these shadows through the screen. I really do because they are stunningly good. Right, as always, I'm going to try when I put um, shimmers on, I always go in dry the first time. Right, I'm going in with medium shaded brush number two into shade Spirit. Let me get my little mirror just so I can see what I'm doing over here. I'm just going to pop that onto the inner corner.
and that's without wetting the shade folks. It does look like it's gone a little bit hard pan but it it's gone shiny like it's hard pan but you can still pick up the product so it's obviously the um, the physical amount of um, oils and stuff that she's got in there yeah. right now I do have to stretch this lid out because I've got such deep creasing over here if I don't the shimmer will just pack loosely into the creases and then throughout the day it will end up huh, throughout the day no. saying it's like I'm not going to take it off once I've done the photos it ends up cascading down my face that's what I was about to say before I interrupted myself so damn rudely Right, to clean the brush off. I'm loving this look, I really am. And then, should I give things a twist? Hmm, I think I will. I'm going to go into Tombstone, which is actually a green. Beautiful olive green. These shimmers are so soft. Just look at how beautiful these are. Just slap that in the middle of my lid. And blend it into the blood red on the outer corner. And I've probably got enough pigment on this brush to do this eye without having to re-dip. Look at that. And I'm going to gently drag the purple across onto the green. seamlessly get those blended together Oof. I think this is going to be my favourite palette of hers so far I've got a lot of her palettes um, but I get the feeling this one this one's going to be pride of place this is just a cloth with some micellar water on it. Just to tidy the edge up there. I always get more fallout with this side because it got pulled around when I was a kid as I explained about the... Did I explain about... I probably didn't this time. I was so excited about this new palette. Um, my eye got pulled around when I was a kid at the Ophthalmic Hospital. Um, when I was like five years old, so 40 years ago. So the skin on that lid is much looser than on the other eye and that's why I've got those super deep creases there as well. Right, so I started, I've been asked to show the shades. I started off with this one and then I went in with this one and then I went in with this one and this one and I've just gone in with that one and that one. I'm going to pause you while I chuck some foundation on and whatnot, and I will be back to finish off this eye look with you. For you my darling there is a no wait at all, you will see me instantly. I however will see you the very next time that I press the record button. Hello! Right, I have no idea what that accent was. But I'm back. Okay, I'm going to go in with this flat top brush that I showed you earlier and I'm going into Zombie, which is a glorious green. Because as I put green here, I now want to put green here. 
Because anyone who knows me knows that purple, green and blue are my favourite colours. And red, obviously, Welsh Dragon and stuff, but in terms of makeup, purple and green are what called to me most. This is a lush colour. Cannot wait to do a full on look with this. Oof. I'm beginning to wish I'd done two separate eyes now. Two separate eyes, yeah. Different design on each eye. And then I'm going to go into Potion. Which is a glorious, glorious colour. I will show you them in the pans in just a moment. A little bit low this side. <laughs> No, it doesn't. When does that not happen with me? Oh, why aren't I going out somewhere with this eye look? Right, the colours I have just used are this one and this one. Now this is a pigment from Oh My Glitter which was in a mystery box at some point I can't remember which one but I know I want to use it for my inner corner and under my brow so this brush is just a cheap lip brush that I bought off of eBay probably about 10 years ago now. But I just love it. Because it's great for getting up under the tail of your brow like that. And yes, I've gone in very heavy with that. And no, I don't care. And as I always do, pull it down under the tear duct and blend it in with the colours underneath my eye because I just think with my eye shape that's the most flattering. If I just do the tear duct this side for a minute, you can see for me having it coming around like this and blending in just finishes my eye shape off nicely. But you do whatever suits your preference. Okay, I'm going to pause you one last time while I lob some more of this on various places of my face. Choose a lippy, put some mascara on, do something with the hair, or possibly put a hat on, and I will be back instantly, my darlings. I am back. Uh, I stuck more of this all over my face. As you can see, I went in with the Revolution Blowout Cannabis Mascara. I like this, it's got a huge brush on it though, so if you've got tiny eyes, use disposable wands with it because you're going to struggle. The lip gloss is an Oh My Glitter. This is from one of their mystery boxes in the past. And I just think this gorgeous kind of goldy green really picks up on the green that I used in the middle of my lid and the hair's nuts as always so what do I think of my Oh My Glitter Halloween palette to be honest from what I've used so far I'd have paid the price for the box just for this palette without all the other bits in it 
I love when purples and greens work this well. It makes me so happy. And when it's a company that I have purchased from for so many, many years, I mean, um, these are the first three pigments that I ever bought from Oh My Glitter. And it was Athena. Urania and Blue Velvet and these still perform today but that was the first three that I ever bought from Oh My Glitter and I bought loads of lipsticks from her obviously I got the, the Bomalicious lipstick named after me which I still can't quite get over and Yes, Robin, I am still going to hassle you because I want that in bullet format, please, and thank you. <laughs> Love you. But <sighs> she has put limited numbers of these on her website. I believe my discount code will work with it. I do earn from this discount code. So if you don't want to do that, don't use the code. But it will save you money. I'm absolutely loving this. I cannot wait to do more. I keep looking at myself in my mirror like some kind of narcissus because I'm just loving how this look turned out. And yeah, this is absolutely going to become one of my most pulled for palettes. So if you are one of my 4F babies, please double check you are still subscribed. Not just to me, but double check you are subscribed to all of your favourite channels because I know that people are getting unsubscribed left, right and centre without them wanting to be. I've been unsubscribed from channels that I follow, so I know it's happening. I know it's not people just unliking and then going, oh, sorry, yes, I... I must have been unsubscribed because it's happened with me. It's happened with channels that I follow, follow, follow. You know, it, it's I got unsubscribed from Seeking Alexandria. I have watched every single one of that girl's videos and commented on pretty much every single one of that girl's videos for the last two years and I got unsubscribed. So, please do that double checking and obviously a like, a comment and maybe even a share would be greatly appreciated. If this is your first time here, however, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've made it this far through, I'm guessing you must have liked it just a little bit. So if you wanted to join the 4F family, it's really easy. You just hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to grey and then jump through the myriad of hoops that YouTube want you to jump through to get notifications because gone are the days you could just like a channel and YouTube would tell you when they uploaded new things. Anyway, all of that remains for me to say as ever is you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.